those of us who are remorseful for what they have done. Well, to start off, I am a dentist. Every month I have, uh, I have patients that come by my office regularly, and in particular, there's this one girl, Stacy, that is very attractive. Uh, I'm a married man, so know that my wife would be extremely upset to hear that I'm thinking of these things. I try my hardest not to, but it's hard not to think blissful thoughts about this girl. One day we were in my office alone, and I could tell that she wanted to have more than her teeth clean. I ended up going to her house that night and sleeping with her, but I told my wife I just had to work late. She hasn't suspected anything yet, but there, there's this guilt that uh, that's gnawing away at me. Has this happened more than once? No, it was, it was just a one night thing, and we haven't really talked much since then. But she still comes to get her teeth cleaned every month. I'm just worried that it will happen again, and it, it will happen again, and I, I don't want it to because I really do love my wife. I can tell that you really love your wife, and that you are really sorry about this incident with Stacy and that you would like to turn away from this sin. I suggest that you do two things. First, you need to recommend that Stacy goes to another dentist's office to get her teeth cleaned, or have one of your assistants clean her teeth instead of yourself. The second thing that you should do is tell your wife about sleeping with another woman and ask her for forgiveness. But, but Father, she would be really upset with me and most likely divorce me. This is one of the punishments that must happen, sometime or another, for the sin you have committed. As my good friend Father Murphy says, punishment for our sin is like a scab. You can either pick at it for a long time and have the pain come slowly, or just rip it off altogether, but be healed faster. Having the punishment come quicker may not be fun, but you will be healed faster. Think about the end result rather than the pain that will come along the way. But what happens if she divorces me? I don't, I don't want that to happen. If she divorces you, you cannot do anything about it. You are the one who made the mistake, so now you, you must take the proper steps in asking for her forgiveness. But I believe that your wife will see that you are truly sorry about this and that she will not divorce you. Thank you, Father. Along with having Stacy see another dentist and asking, and you asking for forgiveness from your wife, I want you to read Leviticus 20.10 and Hebrews 13.4 to see what the Bible says about this sin. Then, read Isaiah 55.6-7 to see how God forgives us of all our sins. Then I want you to write a heartfelt apology letter to those you have hurt through your lying and adultery. This may be to your kids, wife, or whomever you may feel needs to hear your words of apology. These three things will be your penance. Now, let's recite the act of contrition and the prayer of absolution. My God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart, in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good. I have sinned against you, whom I should love above all things. I firmly intend with your help, to do penance, to sin no more, and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Savior Jesus Christ suffered and died for us. In his name, my God, have mercy. Amen. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for forgiveness of sins through the ministry of the church May God forgive you in pardon and peace, and I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Yes, 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 yes.